Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted on my Corel file page a question how you could make a shelf or a box with a key or a wedge. And at first, I didn't really understand what they talking about, but then I think I figured it out. And just real quickly, I drew one. And this would be a four-sided box. You just need two more sides. And this is, to me, pretty easy to draw. It's just a couple of things you got to think about. Your wood is, you know, if you're going to use uh, eighth-inch birch plywood, that's really all you need to know. You need to factor a 0.13 for your joint. So we're going to take the rectangle tool, and I'm going to make a 10-inch by 4-inch shelf. I'm going to put it in the center of the page. That doesn't really matter in this case. Then I'm going to draw another box that is a quarter of an inch wide, 0.125 by 0.5. And this is going to be our tab. And I'm going to grab it right here and I'm going to put it right there and it locked into that corner. Now we need to do another thing real quick and make it a little bit stronger, but we'll do that in a second. Well, we'll do it right now. We'll take and convert it to a curve. Grab these two nodes and right click and turn them into a curve. And you could do this more symmetrically than I'm going to do it, but I'm just going to kind of ballpark symmetrically. Um, you could draw a circle. Uh, there's a lot you could do with it to make it a little bit more symmetrical. But for the video, that's going to be good enough. Uh, maybe I can make it a little bit better. Make it a little bit rounder. You just you need this for two things. One, it'll slip in the hole quicker, better. But also, it's going to give it some strength. Now we're going to take a slot that is 0.13 wide. 0.13 that's the thickness of your plywood and we're going to have it uh, let's say 0.2 the other direction now we're going to and you've got to remember that you're this is sticking through your plywood so you're going to have a 0.13 rectangle coming off here and this is the thickness of your wood so we want it in that general ballpark and let's just move this out of the way for just a second and if you will grab well it probably won't work in this case because of the fact that you're there's no midpoint in here you ought to be able to grab it right there and it should get in the well let me back up here. The reason I didn't want to curve that, let me just back up a few steps, get rid of our curve, and I'm going to show you a reason why. Here's going to be our tab, 0.13 wide, which is the thickness of your wood, by 0.25. Now I'm going to put it inside this box, and that ain't going to work because it's too wide. So let's make it 0.2 like we did before. And then I'm just going to grab that box. I'm going to go CE. And then that put this right in the center. Now holding down the, let me back up here. Holding down the control button, we're going to bring this over to the edge. And it actually has a midpoint. Now we're going to move this block over 0.1, let's say. That way you still have some room for your piece of plywood to fit in here. And the plywood should go to about, let's just measure it, 0.13. So your plywood is going to be a little bit less. And you're going to have to play around with these measurements. Now this is why I wanted to take this block and convert it to a curve. Which evidently it already is. It might have stayed a curve a while ago. 
and then just grab it kind of the midpoint and make your curve. And see, this is your strength. And if you're never going to do anything like this, you can stop watching now. Uh, but this is pretty interesting in a way to learn how to do other things. Now we've got that complete. We're going to grab this. We're going to control G and make a duplicate of it. And we're going to change our nudge distance to a half of an inch. And we're going to cursor this down a half of an inch. Control D, and we're going to go and make sure we get to the bottom, and then we're going to cursor up a half of an inch. We're on the home stretch. That was probably the hardest part. Then take your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. Several things you could do. You could group it all together or color fill it. I'm going to mirror it horizontally, but I didn't make a duplicate of it. Control D and mirror it. Then take that outside corner and move it to that corner. Now just take your virtual segment delete key, delete tool. I call it a delete key a lot. And delete these lines. This is making your tabs equal. Now get the spark fill tool and fill that in with whatever color. Move it out of the way. Left click, right click. And you've got your tabs. Now, and, and this is, uh, it would not be symmetrical because you're going to jump in some. So you could play around with the length of your shelves or your box. And I'm just going to draw a box that's 4 inches wide by 10 inches. And move this node. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Get that node to click on that other node. And remember, we used a half inch block. And we only wanted a half inch by 0.13. So it's a half inch tall, so the, the slot will fit through there. We're almost through, folks. It, it's going to go a lot quicker from here on out. Now let's move it out. A half of an inch. Okay. Control D and move it down and make sure it goes all the way to the bottom and come up one. Now take your original drawing and get it out of the way. Control G and make a duplicate. Control D and make a dup uh, Control G and make group. Control D and make a duplicate. And then mirror it. Then all you have to do is take your smart fill tool and fill that in. And that's your other side. Left click, right click. The hard part's done. And then so you would cut this out twice. You know, making the four sides. And that's what I was saying earlier. This one, these boards are going to be inset of a half of an inch over those. So you could you could have started out with an 11 inch shelf and or to make a square box. And then the other thing you have to do is make the wedge. And the wedge is pretty easy. Just draw a rectangle and make it 0 0.13 tall. Let's make it 0 0.75 wide. So that's the thickness of your wood. And then this is your thickness of your wood. Then just take a circle, an ellipse tool. And you can play around with this because you're going you're gonna to have to cut it maybe once or twice to get it perfect. Then just draw a line from there to there. Take your smart fill or your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. You could weld this together, but I like the smart fill tool. Move that out of the way. Left click, right click. Test it out. If they work, cut, cut them all out. I'm, I'm almost promising you they'll work. That's gonna, now we're looking at it from the top. So this piece needs to be facing us, and it's going to slide in there and wedge coming from this direction, like it'll be going across. It'll actually be doing this, going through that hole, but it's going to be standing on us with the circle side up, because our wood measurement is the quarter inch or eighth of an inch plywood. Anyway, 
I truly hope that helped her a little bit. And thank you for watching.